If bounce houses are open to the public, they are required to be inspected and licensed by the State Department of Safety. The bounce house here at Sullivan Farm, not licensed, but the owner says it also wasn't open to the public yet, not due to open until next weekend. Tonight, however, a family who was here at Sullivan Farm yesterday says that bounce house was clearly open. And this is the little boy that almost yeah, was Gabriel. The Perry family is grateful today. The difference of an hour, and it could have been their son. And where did mom and dad take you yesterday? Um, Southern Farms. Ron Perry is a former police officer and now head of security at Pheasant Lane Mall. He and his wife say the bounce house was in use when they arrived at Sullivan Farm on Sunday. When we first got there, there was a little boy. Um, already bouncing in the house, and there were staff workers walking by, and they were totally fine with it. It wasn't blocked off in any way, shape, or form. There were no bales of hay. There were petting animals right there, kind of drawing you into the bounce house. The bounce house was kind of the first thing you see when you walk into the farm. No comment about that today from the co-owner of Sullivan Farm, but yesterday he told News 9 he was airing out the bounce house after last week's rain, and the attraction was not supposed to be open until next weekend. The Department of Safety regulates bounce houses that are open to the public. That agency now investigating this incident. This bounce house was not licensed or inspected. And as a parent, if you're going to a public place and you see a bouncy house, ask if it has been registered with the Department of Safety. Ask if it has been inspected by the Department of Safety. The younger boy was airlifted to Tufts in critical condition yesterday. His family is asking for privacy. The father of the three-year-old tells us he's in stable condition. Both families are seeking advice from lawyers. My heart, my prayers go out to that family. So Bill Degnan, the state fire marshal, says his department is now working with the Department of Agriculture to help New Hampshire farms with what they call loss prevention, avoiding accidents at the wonderful attractions these farms offer this time of year. Mr. Degnan says they may start with safety checklists for hay rides, corn mazes, and bounce houses. We're live in Nashua, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.